Thank you for staying with the big story. We are trying to get to the bottom of the killings that happened in Marsabit. 11 people lost their lives. We've been speaking to different stakeholders in all this. I'd like now to bring in Yatani Wario, former Terbi MCA, um, and Kalicha Wario as well, Moyale member, Moyale member of Parliament, who's joining us on phone. Um, Yatani Wario, let me begin with you. Where is the problem in Marsabit? What exactly is the problem and what needs to be done? Mr. Yatani Wario in studio, can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you well. Yeah, so my question is, what exactly is happening in Marsabit? What needs to be done? Uh, I'm saying thank you, Madam Linda, first of all. I appreciate this opportunity. What is happening in Marsabit is a long story, but uh, before I go into details, I want to give you a brief of actually what had always been there, that since memorial. Okay, go ahead. In Marsabit County, these unrests are common. And to begin, the history of conflict in Marsabit County is well known, documented facts with both the national and international dimensions. The ouster of Manjistum Haile Mariam, Mariams, government in the early 90s saw the birth of Oromo Liberation Front. Okay, you may not have a lot of time, OLF. sir. So could you just summarize for our viewers what exactly it, it, the problem is? It's actually a very short it. story. Okay. Fighting to, uh, to topple the Ethiopian government, the OLF has established bases in Kenya and utilized its tactical and small arms strength to play a substantive role in conflict for a long time. The famous Torbi and Bagala massacres attest to the important role of the OLF in the conflict in the region. This militia has been used by one community, and to be specific, our Boran community, to wage war against other communities. The case in point includes the attack against the Burji, the Gabra, Rendile, Samburu in Mars Marsabit County, and the Godia and Ajuran in Wajir County. Meru and Turkana in Siolo County is also a case. This community fights other communities in Marsabit because if they are not, If they do not fight, then they will not real realize what is purported to be a state for this community. A state that extends from southern Ethiopia to uh, Isiolo, and these days they say to Tana River. Okay. So I need to bring in, I need to bring in Kalisha Wario, Moyale Member of Parliament. Sir, can you hear me? Yes, I'm getting you. Um, I'm listening in, in to, to Yatani Wario, former Terbi MC, and he's trying to create, give us a history of where this is all coming from. From where you sit, where is the problem in Marsabit? How, how uh, I mean, when you're looking at solutions, short term and long term, what should they be? <laughs> well, yeah, I must say that actually, since yesterday, Yatani has just been inciting the, the Marsavit people. Hello? I can hear you. Go on. Uh, he's now talking of something which I don't even understand, the OLF. He's talking about the Borana fighting uh, all its neighbors. And this is just an incident which has actually not even occurred in Kenya, but four kilometers into Ethiopian uh, uh, boundaries. And uh, I must say that actually these guys were attacked. This can be exhibited by the fact that four, uh, three home guards, as uh, regarding the information that I got from the uh, Marsabe uh, security team, four home guards were killed. And home guards, the air, that particular area where that incident 
as a card for all it. The home guards were disarmed. Just there, they were disarmed from Sololo and Marsabet Central. That clearly shows that those home guards from Lodor were on a mission to attack the Ethiopians. And they, they, were, they were killed from the formation I'm getting. So okay. talking about stories, about the Bagala Baga, Baga massacre, about OLF, this is just creation of imagination of what they want to do. And I think the attorney should not uh, go to media houses claiming that the uh, Boranas are there to fight. Okay, first well, of all, sir. People, people on, 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 in Kenya, and in particular in Marsabe. So if there's an incident that has occurred, and I think the, the county commissioner, the county commander can bear, with, uh, bear, bear as witness, this incident occurred. It's not only the water or uh, uh, pasture. It was actually what the people who have gone to Ethiopia to attack and is, is still left. No, no. I, I, I would like to disagree with you. We've just spoken to Charles Owino who is the Director of Communication uh, National Police Service. We've also spoken to Gilpat Kitio, who yes. is the Marsabit County Commissioner. They say the information they have is that these people had gone for a peace meeting and they were not going to uh, for that meeting to attack anyone anywhere. So maybe there's a conflict, there's, there's a gray area there. Because you're saying these people are going to attack. Uh, these are the, the leaders who are the stakeholders, the security personnel are saying, no, nope, they had gone for a peace meeting. Well, I talked to Kitio, uh, we talked with Kitio in the morning, and uh, that's the information. Whatever I'm giving you is actually the information that we, from them. Uh -huh. and, if, and again, if there's any security meeting, which is done uh, between Kenya and Ethiopia, these are two neighboring uh, countries. Uh, we should actually, uh, we should, uh, should have expected the Kenyan authorities to be present. That is uh, what I know. Okay. Has, uh, has been happening. So the issue, the change now, I don't understand. But in the morning, what we understand is that actually if there's any peace meeting, the DCC or the uh, county commandant should be aware and uh, uh, they should be present if it is in between the two countries. All right, thank you so much for speaking to us. Kalisha Wario Moyali, Member of Parliament. Let me bring in Yatani Wario. You'd be the last person I speak to on this show. Are you inciting members of your community? Do you have concrete evidence of what you're presenting here? I have concrete evidences, not actually an evidence, evidences. What we are hearing here, actually from what, what I heard from Charles and what I heard from the county commissioner Marsabit are quite contradicting. It's like Charles gets his, got his notes from the MPs who are on air this afternoon. It's like he did not get the report from the security agents who are representing the security of this nation in Marsabit County. We have heard what the media said, and that is what reliably I rely on, and that is the information I have. Madam Linda, it's unfortunate that in a month of Ramadan, leaders who I believe are fasting blatantly lie to defend one community. It's unfortunate. And I do not know if actually fasting has a meaning if this is the way people behave. First of all, those are your sentiments. They have a right to just express their opinion the same way you do. Agree. What happened actually in, in uh, for all another constituency was that peace meeting. It's not the first time. I agree with what Mr. Kitio said, or Gilbert Kitio said. The meeting severally was done the same way. This meeting was meant for the herders who were having disagreement over the use of resources along the border. And it was the leaders from Ethiopia who actually came all the way to Forole to ask 
for this meeting. And I'm happy to hear five elders were killed while they were comfortably seated and, um, in, in the shed. <coughs> thing to say you cannot say you're happy to hear five people died no 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 I, i'm not saying i'm happy at least they report that they were killed while seated different from what charles said these people went for this meeting and the other six were coming from another center actually they were part of the herders who are herding their livestock around there because they knew the meeting was on they cut the meeting and they were out and the fighting took, took place mm. my colleagues said two people were killed and uh, kitty also said the same i have even the names of those who died and got injured from the other okay these two communities had always been coexisting well and i want to go on record for this the problem on the border now is the problem that shifted from what was happening in the county to that side. Okay, I need to wrap this conversation at that point, sir. I'm hoping we can have more time to just talk about what exactly is happening in Marsabit because there's a lot of conflicting information. You have leaders disagreeing on even the reason or the cause of these latest killings, the numbers, what exactly happened, and there's accusation and counter accusation from both sides. So allow me to end the big story today on that note. A very big thank you to Charles Owino, Director communication services at the national police service who spoke to our lead reporter sophia wanuna thank you as well to yatani wario former turby mca a big thank you as well to kalicha wario moyale member of parliament and gilbert kitio marsabit county commissioner as well i'm linda ogutu have a good night